Bringing back a fan favourite, Logitech have finally released their reinvented gaming mouse with every mod con that you could wish for and more. Now more ergonomic with a few design changes and so much lighter both in weight and smooth movement, this new iteration really takes into account everything fans have wished to improve, allowing it to feel right at home in any modern gaming setup. Hi and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Taking it out of the box, you'll find the mouse itself along with a few must-have accessories like a decently long USB-C charging cable as well as a USB extender and a USB-A receiver. I was a bit sure on the purpose of this little cap at first, but interestingly, this is the cap for the removable DPI shift button. Just looking at this setup guide, you'll see that there are a staggering 11 buttons on this mouse, making it very clear that this is specially designed for ultimate control in your games. So as it's wireless, it comes with this inconspicuous USB receiver for connecting directly directly into the PC with no messy wires and with the inclusion of Logitech G's exclusive light speed tech, I can tell you now you'll have absolutely no signs of lag or sensitivity issues which is crucial for those competitive players. Unless you're familiar with the Logitech jargon, some of those features highlighted can be a little hard to comprehend, but from experience the combination of the Hero 25k sensor, Lightforce hybrid optical mechanical switches and light speed wireless generally makes that difference. This tech is just as powerful as it sounds considering these are improved features from the last iteration, is still one of the top contenders in terms of performance right now in the gaming market. Just taking a look at the overall design, it's not moved far away from the classic shape we all recognise, with that all black gamer vibe and striking RGB light strip and subtle detailing. Weight wise, it's relatively light, coming in just over 100 grams, and the overall size is roughly in the middle, it's around the same size as your average gaming mouse, but with the moulded fit it sits comfortably in my larger hand size while not feeling ridiculously large in smaller hands too. So so it's a nice middle ground for most users. I do know that some users like the spikier design as seen on the previous G502, but I'm liking this smoother, more uniform look. It seems more ergonomic and nicely balanced, fitting the smooth curvature of my hand in a more natural resting position. It does seem to be gearing the design more towards comfort than style now, which is much better in my eyes. Also I personally struggle with mice that don't have thumb support, so I do love this subtle grippy extension on the side, fitting my thumb nice and snug with a soft rubber texture for a comfortable yet firm grip. In terms of buttons you get the usual left and right click on the top with a central scroll wheel, but what takes it to the next level is those extra assignable buttons on the left click along the side and a smaller one just below the scroll wheel. Now this is completely adaptable to your style of play, which is one of my favourite things about having a mouse that's designed specifically with gamers in mind. Again, the adaptability of this mouse just keeps hitting the right marks. Just clicking this little switch underneath the scroll wheel, there's the option to switch between a buttery smooth scroll and a more precise ratcheted mode. I prefer the more precise scroll, but having the option built in it just eliminates having to choose between any other competing mouse, and it just has everything that I need to adapt it to my style of play. On the thumb rest you get a few more controls, like the forward and back button which defaults as DPI switches just out of the box, as well as this tactile DPI shift button that not only can be removed entirely, it's also rotatable for positioning it forward and back based on your comfort levels. Now if you're still on the fence about upgrading to the X Plus just yet, then this addition may just make your mind up in an instant. We now have the advantage of these brand new hybrid optical mechanical switches dubbed Light Force. Now this means you just get the best of both worlds, providing that lightning fast precision of an optical switch while still maintaining the satisfying mechanical click that we all know and love. Just taking it in hand, I instantly get a sense of that speed. It is ridiculously responsive, coming across most within a match. It's just what I've been waiting for, finishing off a popular mouse with this powerful combination of actuation and precision, elevating the G502 to the top of the ranks as a powerful gaming tool. Now getting into actually using the mouse, my first thoughts is it's smooth to move around and quick for responses. The smooth glide pads on the base make movements consistently fluid even on this spongy mouse pad. It does move great on a hard surface too, but I didn't really see much difference across a variety of surfaces which is good to know. So this is a completely wireless mouse and as you'll see, it has a switch on the bottom for turning it on and off, showing blue when the power's on and red for off. Now there's an invisible LED just on the top for power and DPI indication too, helping to keep an eye on battery life and remind you to switch it off when it's not in use. I also like how it disappears when not needed to save any other distractions. According to the specs, the battery life is expected to run between 37 and 130 hours depending on constant movement and RGB use. With USB charged accessories, I often find I don't need to worry about battery life much, and with Logitech devices, from experience, I hardly find the battery to be an issue. I've used this mouse for a couple of hours and it is still running off battery power straight out of the box, so I am convinced that it holds power just as well as it suggests. 
Lastly, I just wanted to point out the large G logo on the base. Pushing it in, it opens into a little compartment for stashing away that USB receiver with the mouse when not using it. I love the placement of the RGBs on this one. Now I may sit under the palm so you don't really see it during gameplay, but I like how I get to enjoy the effect with my overall setup when I want to, while hiding it well enough during gameplay to save those distractions. It's a nice soft light effect as well, divided into 8 zones, so again it really plays into the ultimate customizable nature. To make changes, you will need to download the Logitech G Hub, which can be found in the support section of the product page on the Logitech site. It's a very simple interface with visual diagrams rather than text-based drop-down menus. Now I didn't get into applying specific functions to these signable keys, but the menu was incredibly detailed and quite easy to use from what I could see, though I did get into changing the lights, and for such a small light strip, the options were very detailed, letting me choose a specific colour scheme and even opting for preset animations. So if RGB lighting is important to you, then this is a great feature to bear in mind. Finally, let's get into how it fares during gameplay. Booting up a game like Fortnite instantly lets you see those lightning quick reaction times and super precise clicks. For competitive team-based tactical shooters, you'll be interested to note that the DPI reaches some incredibly sensitive levels. On the highest setting, it can whip around in one swift movement, which is great for quickly turning on enemies behind me before they even get a chance to attack. Now the left and right click utilize these hybrid optical mechanical switches that supposedly give higher speed and accuracy. Now just from playing a few games, I did notice it keeping up and shooting just as fast as I pressed the trigger, which again can mean life or death in those intense final minutes of a match. So internally it's super precise and quick to the touch, but sound wise the clicks and scroll are virtually silent. I don't know whether you prefer hearing the clicks in gameplay, but I love how quiet this mouse is. It does save me from any unnecessary distractions, but if you don't want to take my word for it, here's a quick sound sample to judge for yourself. Now overall, I think this mouse has its merits as a highly useful gaming tool. Its additional internal and external features designed to improve speed and accuracy just make a world of difference. Its effortless performance and consistency make it practically flawless for the competitive gamer, but it can also be considered overkill for the casual gamer, especially if you don't think you'll make the most out of all those additional buttons. But I'd highly recommend for the sensitivity alone, as the combination of the sensor, the smooth glide pads, and the optical mechanical switches just make this mouse more of an extension of your hand matching your reflexes instantaneously, which is helpful both in-game and across general use. So what are your thoughts on the Logitech G 502X Plus gaming mouse? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.